How many of y'all remember that, man? Came out to that song, man. Every time I got hype off that thing. I know everybody that's a Bulls fan, period, in Chicago. Shout out to all everybody in Chicago. All my subscribers from Chicago, shout out to y'all, man. Hey, shout out to MJ himself. Shout out to the sneakers, baby. These retros bring us so much joy um, for, for those of us who really love them. These sneakers, man. Hey, all sneakers, period, just bring us love and joy. Bring us joy. Uh, and allow us to express things, man. But going off what the title of today's video is, shout out to my boy A Wall Two Time. Go on A Wall, man. Y'all go subscribe to his channel. Uh, he's popping his YouTube thing back off, man. He's been gone for a minute. He always dibbed and dabbed in it, but now he's going full full blast with it, man. I'm proud of my guy. So y'all go sub to him, sub up, man. Uh, over at his channel at Gone A Wall Nine One Eight. Go on AWOL918, man. Uh, the description will be below. So, uh, let's get into it, man. So, uh, we on lockdown. Everybody knows we on lockdown, man. We on lockdown from all this craziness that's going on in the world. But uh, with that being said, we want to bring joy. So, we don't want to talk about that. Let's, be, let's have some fun with this channel today. Let's have fun with this video. This video, uh, me and AWOL was talking earlier. Um, and we are talking basically about what ideas we can have to uh, bring joy to the sneaker culture with this with this craziness going on while we're on lockdown. We're going to be in here. We might as well enjoy each other. I'm going to be in front of this camera. Y'all going to be behind the camera watching. So let's go ahead and make this thing fun and dope. So the idea we had was to pick your favorite retro that MJ actually wore that you have in your collection. It has to be in your collection. It ha I repeat, if this is going to start something and it's going to go around to different YouTubers doing this, it has to be in the collection. Now, uh, you know your boy, Big Mike, sold a lot. But he ain't going to sell the things that he really like uh, that's popping. You know your boy got some, the Jordan MJ hat on. And my favorite one was the hardest thing to do, man. Uh, very down to the, to the hardest thing to do, man, because he has so many accomplishments, man, in each retro. So, Jordan, you're making it hard for it, baby. You're making it hard for it. But I like it. I like it. So with that being said, without further ado, let's get into my favorite retro that MJ wore, man. Bam! The infrared Jordan 6, man. And I got a lot of reasons why. Care to listen? I'm about to get into it. Hey, man, you got to, first of all, look at this shoe. Look at this shoe. What is not to like about this shoe? Period. I mean, point blank, period. What's not to like, man? Infrared popping, 3M popping, the black going against the red, just the colorway blocking, popping. I sound like Chris Brown, though. But anyway, but anyway, hey, to keep it going, Nike Air on that buttocks. Baby got back. Baby got plenty back back there with that Nike Air on that thing, man. Hey, looking like, uh, 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 Y'all know about the Jordan 6, man. The Jordan 6 uh, was followed up by the Ferrari that he loved, which is Jordan's favorite uh, sports car. I believe it was the Ferrari on this one. Um, <clears throat> was it the Ferrari? Or maybe it was the Porsche. I'm not sure which one it was, but hey. You always put his sneakers after cars, man, which was, you know, just so dope in my opinion. And to this day, man, years, years later, man, from 1991 to 2020, is still one of the best retros created, baby. And it's still a fashion statement in the game, in the sneaker game. And, it, and it, that's just how it is, man. That's just how it is, baby. Um, but uh, this is my favorite retro for a lot of reasons, man. First of all, the icy blue sole, baby. Icy blue sole. And why is the icy blue sole so important to us sneakerheads? Let me tell you why. Because in 91, I don't know how many know this. Everybody always talk about they don't like the light icy blue soles. We're going to go ahead and post this pic right here. And then I'm going to show you a couple of videos of why Jordan was so great. We already know why he was great. But I'm going to show videos of him playing in this shoe. 
He played in this shoe in the finals against the Lakers. He also played in this shoe, uh, like in this po in this uh, picture you see, there was also a poster that you could buy back in the day. Um, he played in this shoe in the All-Star game, the 1991 All-Star game, where he scored, um, I believe he had 26 points in uh, three blocks, and I think, I think nine to 10 rebounds, I believe. It's hard to keep up with that, but I do believe I am correct on the points at least. Um, but if you look at that picture, you can see the icy blue bottoms on the bottom of that thing, man. Um, and these things just fired up. Um, I had the 2014 pair. I got rid of them. And um, when I knew that was coming out with this, of course, I knew that I got rid of them. Um, man. Uh, I mean, it's, it's not much you can say about this, man. This is by far my favorite Jordan 6. By far my favorite retro that he wore. Because this is the first shoe that he won his championship in. This is the first championship he won. He had these babies on against them Lakers. All series, plus the game five that we about to roll uh, in the first quarter of that game, the first uh, minute of that game, Jordan had a steal, man, and went down that court, took the steal, tight roped the, tight roped the baseline on the sideline. <laughs> and took that thing in his airness. Hey, we already knew what he could do, but his airness was named right there on that dunk, man. His airness was named on that dunk, man. So um, he had these bad boys right here. Oh, man. And he took flight in in his first championship uh, against Magic Johnson's uh, Hollywood Lakers. So, man, this had to be, <clears throat> this by far had to be my favorite um, retro that he wore, now, that he wore. Because everybody knows that my favorite uh, Jordan retro, period, my favorite silhouette is the Jordan 1. I mean, that is obvious. And we can look back and tell that's the obvious thing, okay? But my favorite retro that he worn in a game is the infrared Jordan 6. Um, even, I mean, even with the All-Star game. The All-Star game, um, the very first quarter, the very first play of the game, the, he electrified the crowd. Uh, on this play right here, that, that, that's gonna be popping up <clears throat> wherever it is at this timeline in the video. You know what I'm saying? Hanging in the air and made sure that he done his Jordan logo in the air. I mean, he he made a statement that he wanted to do that signature move of his shoe um, in the games, and he done it like in the very first minute of the game. And I forgot who it was against, but you can see that he just hung in the air with one hand, man. That that tongue out. Classic, baby. Flick that thing up in there, man. Classic, baby. Jordan done incredible things, man. The crowd came to see Michael Jordan uh, do things. Even if you was against Jordan, you still wanted to see him wow you that night. Um, you was hoping he'd lose. You know, his team would lose and they wouldn't beat your team, but you still wanted to see the incredible things that he done, man. And uh, He changed the game, people. He changes games. Yeah, man. That's just what I wanted to do real quick. So me and Go Awa wanted to start that. Uh, Y'all share this video. Hit up some other YouTubers. See what their favorite uh, retro is that he worn uh, in the NBA uh, and why. You know, it, it don't have to be that he won his first championship because I know uh, people are going to say I took the easy way out. But honestly, y'all, this is my favorite Infrared Six. If you've been following me for a while, you know this. Um, it's, it's my favorite. Favorite Six and... Uh, you know, it's just a big moment for me because I watched that first championship game in my OG, man. So I watched that, man, and my brother's a huge Lakers fan, and we got together and we watched it as kids growing up, and we keep talking about this to the day, man. He's a Magic Johnson, Kobe, man, and, you know, Shaq fan. He's just a Laker fan. So, you know, with me getting that one up on him of Chicago because we, you know, you know, that's the first time and last time we probably played the Lakers in a championship. Uh, but. Getting that one up on him, man, it just feels great. Uh, so, yeah, man, with that being said, man, make sure y'all stay safe out there, man. Uh, make sure you like, share, come and subscribe, man. Hey, get your likes up, baby. Y'all be watching videos. I appreciate you. Getting new subscribers, I appreciate you. But you got to hit the like button. You can't just watch the video, baby. It don't take two seconds, bam, to hit the thumbs up or the thumbs down. I mean, you know, if you don't like the video, hit the thumbs down. But at least interact with the video, baby. Interact with the video. Because we're on our way to 10K. Hey, hey, hey. So I got, I'm getting ahead of myself. I got to show 
uh, the runner up that I was going to pick, man. This is why it was so damn hard for me to pick uh, one retro. Pick one retro that Jordan wore in his career? And why you picked it and tell why you picked it? This is a hard challenge, people. It might seem so easy to some people, but this is a hard challenge if you're a real sneakerhead and a real Jordan fan. This is hard. So my runner up will be the Cherry 13s, man. Woo! Almost the only 13 that I have, man, because I make sure that this thing don't get nowhere. I make sure this thing stay clean, man. Boy, a lot of people don't like 13s because they're bulky. I'm interested to see what going AWOL's pick going to be because y'all know he's the 13 level. So I'm I'm really interested to see what his pick will be. Will he go lean towards the 13s or will he not, man? So um, with that being said, man, this, this was my runner up that made it hard for me. Honestly, um, yeah, and I know y'all like, well, you need to pick Jordan 1 or Sorrento. Ah, yeah, love them. I told you, it's nostalgia reasons, baby. Nostalgia reasons. This was the runner-up because Jordan, um, his last his last season was played in his, in his 13, man. Uh, the, the bread 13s, the cherry 13s, um, his last, and the playoff 13s. How can I forget them? Uh his last season was played in this retro, man. And this is my favorite colorway of the 13. Hands down. Favorite colorway of the 13. Um, also my favorite color of the 12. But anyway, we ain't gonna get to that. Um, man, it's just it's just a nostalgia reason, man, why he when he played in this shoe, he, he, I mean, he wasn't more, he wasn't just high flying. At the time, this shoe when he was wearing this shoe, he, he was he was still dunking and doing his thing, but he wasn't just doing the you know the the crazy windmills and all that. Jordan was at the uh, towards the he was at the he was really after the peak of his career, but he was at the peak of his career and he knew that he was gonna hang it up. And he, this season right here with this shoe, he was trying to get that last three peak and get up out of there and get up out of there. I know a lot of people were probably leaning towards the last shot because he put that on in that game winner, um, you know. The move on Bond Russell. We all know that move. Um, but man, this this is this shoe right here was hard for me not to pick because it was dedicated to his last season, man. So um, yeah, I ain't gonna hold it. We ain't gonna go on about these. Um, so that's been it, man. Yeah, it's your boy Big Mike. We headed to 10K. Make sure you like, share, comment, subscribe. Hey, wall, let me see what you got, baby. Um, remember, y'all go sub to his channel. And, and, go sub to all my, all my homies, man. You know, Unbreakable Kicks, Skip Goes Hard, uh, the, retro, the, the Retro Is Kid, uh, The Ventures World. Man, look, Trading Kicks. All, everybody, man, sub up, man. It's a big family out here. Let's do this and help your boy get to 10K in the meanwhile. Peace.